Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these sort of tea bag holders. This could be a great get well gift. Inside you'll have three envelopes, each one will fit a tea bag. So let's get started. First you need to trim your cardstock to 11 by 3 and a quarter inches. Uh, I also rounded the corners. Then you need to score at 3 and a half inches. Four and three quarter inches, eight and a quarter inch, and nine and a half inches. After scoring you'll notice you created five panels which we are going to mat. I'm using the first edition Free Spirit paper pad. So here are my uh, my panels. I'm making two versions, one on green and one on uh, red cardstock. Then you will have to fold and burnish the scored lines. So when you close it, it will look something like this. For the next step we need to create the small bit on the bottom on which we are going to add the envelopes for the tea bags. So for this part we are going to trim a piece of cardstock to 4 by 3 inches and then we score on the long side at every half an inch. After scoring we are going to fold the first two sections, we'll create a, a mountain fold, skip one section, create another mountain fold.
skip the next section and create one last mountain fold. So you have like three mountain folds separated by a small section. After that I used my double sided uh, tape to glue into place the folded sections. Now we need to add this bit to the inside of the tea bag holder. So I'm going to add a bit of double sided tape. Then uh, position it on the inside of the tea bag holder. Now that this part is done, we need to create the envelopes. So for the envelopes, uh, you need to trim uh, three pieces of five by five inches, three squares. I'm using my UR Memory Keepers uh, scoreboard with the uh, envelopes uh, score guide. So I'm aligning my uh, paper with the score guide at the two and a half inches uh, alignment and score on all sides.
then uh, cut away uh, the corners created by the intersection of the score lines. This is how you will create the basic uh, envelope shape. Then uh, fold and burnish the score lines. Fold the three of the flaps and glue them uh, on top of each other. So now you have the envelope, uh, which is the perfect size for the tea bag. You can also use this type of envelopes for your journaling. And you can make them any color you want, just use your paper scraps. These uh, envelopes will uh, be fixed on the inside of the tea bag holder. And to fix them, uh, add a bit of double sided tape uh, on the bottom of the envelope and align it with each section of the inner bit. Now I'm going to show you how to create the closing for the envelopes. So you close your envelope and uh, use a sharp tool to punch a small hole, but make sure it doesn't go through the back of the envelope as well. Then uh, take your bread, I'm using this uh, sort of fabric breads, which are quite big. Pass it through the hole and fix it tightly. Now when you close your envelope, it will stay closed. Then uh, use the same system for the closure of the tea bag holder. So I'm closing the flap 
I'm taking a sharp tool, punching a small hole. And for this uh, tea bag holder, I'm using a flour and a small bread. So I'm punching a small hole through the layers of the flour. I'm taking a small bread Pass it through the flour And then through the tea bag holder press it down tightly and there you have it so this is it guys uh, thank you so much for watching hope you'll have fun creating your own tea bag holders if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time with a new tutorial. Happy crafting!